Hey G-Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool, amazing product right here in my hand. It's seized by the brand called Zule Kitchen. And pretty much what this is, is this batter screen that you can use for cooking, baking, or whatever you guys want to. And pretty much what the point of using this product is to help you guys prevent any kind of like oil or anything splatter all over your kitchen or your stove top and whatnot when you guys are cooking. Because if you guys are cooking with oil and water, it's going to splatter all over your place. So that's where this product comes in handy. So this company was really kind to actually send me one of these to kind of review to talk about it and see how it performs and let you guys know whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So I want to thank them for being so generous to send me one of these. So before I open up the product to show you guys what it looks like, let's talk about some of the stuff that I mentioned on here. So it has an ultra fine mesh that will prevent 97% of the splatter while allowing the steam to go out. Second thing they mentioned on here is the fact that it is heavy duty with the uh, really nice stainless steel material that they use. Uh, it's multi-purpose so you can use it as a strainer or also as a cooking rack. And then I also mentioned the fact that it's a cooking rack so you can actually put it down on the table and you can put stuff on top so maybe you like cookies or your cake or something. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, it prevents burns so because of the handle that's on the product itself, uh, it won't actually burn your hand when you guys uh, grip it or hold the handle or whatnot. It has a hanging hook, so that means you guys can use this part right here to actually hang it onto your wall or whatever. So they mentioned that they have a lifetime warranty that you guys should definitely email them if you have any issue with your product, and they'll definitely help you guys out with whatever the issue is. Last thing they mentioned on here is the fact that it's easy cleaning, so it's really easy to clean. You guys can hand wash it. You guys can use the dishwasher to wash it as well. So that's basically everything that is mentioned on this product itself. Now let me actually open up and show you guys what the product looks like. So the opening at the back part is pretty easy. You just have to open like this. So here is what the product looks like. So they provide you the same kind of information that was outside the packaging itself. And then here is the actual splatter screen itself. So you guys can see, this is the plastic handle that they were talking about. So it will actually prevent it from burning your hand if you guys hold it and grip it. Here's the little hook that they mentioned. So you can hang on to the wall or whatever. The splatter screen, as you can see, is made really nicely, fine mesh and everything. So the oil definitely will not be able to splatter out unless you guys are gonna be using it as a strainer to pour out the oil or liquid or whatever. You guys can see there's plenty of like small little holes that will allow like the steam to come out of the actual uh, pot itself or whatever you guys are gonna be using to cook with. And if you guys take a look right here, right here, they have the little stands right here. So if you guys put it on the tabletop, then you guys can put stuff on here. So let it cool down or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And then they also have the little brand logo right here, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, the material that they use on here is stainless steel and also it's supposed to be rust resistant. I can't really tell you guys when it's actually rust resistant unless I use it more and more over time and then see how it performs. But so far it looks good. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. The only way for us to actually find out when it actually works and how well it works is to actually go test it out. So let me actually go test it out first and then come back and talk more about the product itself. All right, so right now we have it as a stand, if you can see. And then we're gonna use it to kind of test it out to see when it actually can help with the splattering or whatever. So first thing I want to do is add in the actual uh, oil first to, just to show you guys what will happen after adding some water and whatever on top. They didn't see that the product itself helps and it's not like splattering all over the plate when we have it. It's like blocking all the oil from splattering all over the plate. You guys can see, so that's pretty cool. You guys can actually put it in all the way just like that if you guys want to, but just watch out for the plastic part. So you guys can see that it does So like when it comes to rinsing the product, it's pretty easy. You just have to turn on the water. On both sides. You guys can use the soap or whatever too. And then once you guys are done, you just hang it, let it air dry, whatever. All right, welcome back, guys. So now that you guys saw the test of the product, you can see that actually does work and it works really well. Really easy to use. There's not really much to it. Uh, you guys can use multiple stuff on here, like I mentioned earlier, which is pretty cool, such as a splatter screen, which is the whole point of this. And you guys can also use it as a strainer, and you guys can also use it as a little uh, tabletop stand to put anything on top, let it cool down or whatever. So definitely really cool how you guys can do all that. Uh, but in terms of the size of the product, there's actually two different sizes. The one that I got right here or they sent me is 11.5. Uh, and then there is another one that is a 13 inch one. So depending on which one you guys want or how big your pan is, that's how you guys determine which one to get. But definitely a really cool product overall though. So now that we did the unboxing and testing of the product itself, 
Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would have to say that this is actually worth it if you guys need one or want one of these, especially if you guys are gonna be cooking a lot, and especially if you guys have the issue of how it splatters all over your stove top when you guys are cooking stuff, or if you guys don't have like a strainer to like strain your vegetables or whatever when you guys are cooking, this is definitely a really cool product and really, really worth it in all those cases. <laughs> But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these or you guys just never cook at home or whatever then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else they actually do need but other than that that's pretty much it for this little unboxing testing and feedback about this product itself hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have, 